Hello friends. Happy Wednesday. How's your week going so far? Mine has been uh, busy. Uneventful, but busy. Uh, mostly with, uh, with work, real work. Real job work, day job work. Got a lot of uh, pipe work going on, which you can see in the background there, but haven't touched that today. Uh, just been far too busy with uh, with my job, and uh, yeah, it's but it's all good. It's all good. Happy to have a job. Happy to be able to remain productive. Can't complain. Well, I could, but. Uh, but, oh no, my tamper fell. This is my uh, little Medico uh, VFQ. Uh, it's got this, um, I always forget what the stem is made of. But it's, it's, a, it's a really interesting material. It's, it's, it's a rubber of some sort. It's a common material. Anyway, uh, it's great great little pipe and the stem is great because you can really chew on it and it doesn't care. It's very tough. The old ads for this pipe used to show a bulldog smoking it because the bulldog couldn't bite through the stem. And I am enjoying some autumn evening. Had a lot of uh, haunted bookshop and rustica all day and I just wanted something different so My wife doesn't like it when I smoke autumn evening because it makes her want pancakes. So, I don't normally talk about comments uh, that I get, but I got a comment on Sunday that I wanted to talk about a little bit because it, it kind of uh, confused me. And I don't want to, I'm not trying to call anyone out here. I think the person that left the comment was probably very sincere. I don't know them. I didn't recognize their name. But they, uh, they indicated that my discussion on Sunday was, I'm going to use their words, it was vague, it was paranoid, and it was uh, lacking facts with regards to what I said about COVID-19. Um, and I, I appreciate being called down on that. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to bring any of those things to you. I, I'm not paranoid. I don't want you to be paranoid. Uh, I want to use as many facts as I can, although it's not my job to <laughs> to research this. And uh, you know, I, I certainly want to uh, not 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 appear that I'm trying to say something that I'm I'm not. So I've been pretty consistent, I think, with the message uh, that I, my personal opinion of this, is that we've overreacted. And I at times have said, and I think this is what set this person off on Sunday, you know, I said, you have to be careful. There is a virus, it is a real thing, and you could contract it, and if you do contract it and you have any underlying health issues, that would be bad. Uh, I don't think I went into that level of depth because I had talked about it so many times. I, I just assumed that it would be understood. Um, but I just want to make sure that everyone knows I'm not paranoid about it at all. Um, I really think we've dramatically overreacted at this point, and certainly we are continuing to, to overreact. I mean, there's no reason I can't go to a restaurant right now. I saw. Let me get my tablet. I saw, uh, <laughs> this really made me laugh. So an Ohio restaurant, which presumably is right across the border uh, with uh, Western Pennsylvania, they made Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf their employee of the, of the month. <laughs> and <laughs> the reason is that they're doing such good business because people are crossing the border to be able to go eat at the restaurant. And Tom Wolf won't let us open up restaurants here. I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, it's 
it's all crazy. You know, you, you can't trust any numbers. We're hearing that there's spikes in certain areas, but they're ignoring the fact that they've increased the number of tests that they're giving. You know, in some cases, they've doubled or even tripled the number of tests. So, of course, there's going to be increased diagnosis. I mean, that's just, that's math. It's not, e not even math. It's, it's, it's arithmetic. <laughs> And then, you know, the numbers are spun, and, and you rarely get the full story. So in the county that I live in, there have been a total of, I'm using round numbers here, 7,800 cases, 7,800 diagnosed uh, cases of, uh, of coronavirus infection. And that's important because COVID-19 is actually the syndrome that you get when you were very sick and you went into the hospital. So these are just cases, 7,800 people that tested positive for the virus. Now, some of them may have been hospitalized. Some of them may have just had uh, loss of smell or something. You know, we don't know. Now, there's also been 700, I remember this number, uh, 777 deaths. Um, now, that sounds bad. You know, that sounds like, wow, 10% or close to 10% of the people that get infected die. And that surprised me. Because, you know, the thing that puzzles me is the county I live in is not that big, and I have yet to meet anyone that has been infected or that knows anyone that has been infected. So there's something odd going on there. And then the death thing, just that really shocked me, at you know, 10%. But then there's another number. 87% of the deaths have occurred in nursing homes. Nursing homes are closed systems. Once someone gets sick, they wind, you know, it spreads like wildfire through the, through the nursing home. Uh, terrible situation. But me not going out to a, to a restaurant isn't going to affect that. It's just not going to be a problem. So, you know, when you correct for those numbers, you know, the, the death rate is incredibly low. The infection rate, if you can find such information and, and you can trust it, it's probably not worse than a, uh, a bad seasonal flu. So here we are. So I'm not paranoid. <laughs> and I'm, I'm using as many facts as I can, but I'm not going to, I'm not writing a doctoral thesis on this. You know, if you want, if you want to be informed, go out and get your, your information. But I don't want to tell people, just ignore it, it's nothing to worry about, because it's not. It, it, it's there. It's very low likelihood that you're going to contract it, but you could. Uh, but the, the advice that people have gotten, you know, wash your hands, uh, don't hang around people that are coughing, you know, this is generally good stuff. I, I don't think that, I think we should have always been doing that. Don't go to work if you're sick. I wish to God people would pay attention to that because I, I'd say 90% of the colds I've had in my life have been because stupid people come to work when they're sick and give me the cold. Anyway, that's my, uh, that's where my thoughts have been today. Sorry to drag you into that, but I had to share it with somebody. So, Friday night, we got uh, Virtual Pipe Club. Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, it'll be me and you and uh, your comments, my, my chatter. Uh, thinking about a story to tell. I think I got a pretty good one from my grade school days that you'll enjoy. Not a pipe smoking story, but I wasn't, wasn't a grade school pipe smoker. It's about the only thing I didn't do in grade school. Uh, and this Saturday, we're going to do a, uh, a giveaway. Um, I think what I'm going to wind up giving away, I'm going to give away a tin of tobacco. I haven't picked it yet, but it'll, I don't want to say what it'll be yet because I, I haven't looked yet. But I'll put up a, um, 
a placeholder for the Friday night live stream later today and probably tomorrow morning I'll put up something for the Saturday live stream which will be at 4 p.m. Eastern and there'll be a trivia contest and somebody will win a tin of tobacco. So I hope you can join me for one or both of those. I'll really look forward to seeing you there. Unfortunately, break time is over. i got to get back to work. So you all have a fantastic rest of the week, and I'll see you on Friday night. Take care, everybody.